Hi guys, this is a video um, installing our half inch and one quarter inch nozzles. Um, today we'll be installing them on the Fluval Evo system. Um, you have an option to either go for a single half inch nozzle or two one quarter inch nozzles. Um, this will heavily depend on your return pump size. If you have a larger return pump, then we recommend going with a single nozzle as you'll get the best performance out of this. Um, we have extra lock line also available if you'd like to bring your nozzle deeper into the water. This is usually only a problem if your water level is quite low in the tank. So here are the stock nozzles on the Evo. As you can see the performance is very minimal. Not a lot of surface agitation even if you do point them towards the surface. Um, this is what the stock pumps was very low. Um, so we're placing this, we're just popping off the Y connector. Comes right off. And here we're installing with the two extra lock line pieces and a single half inch nozzle. This will just pop right on. It will be a snap fit. And you can actually align the nozzle then parallel to the water surface. So keep in mind this is actually run with an EIM uh, 1000 litre per hour pump I think it is. So as you can see the surface agitation is quite um, quite dramatic and you can see the different random flow patterns within the surface of the water and also hitting the surface but also hitting the bottom of the tank. Making sure flow gets around your system in the most effective way. As you can see here the different flow patterns on the surface of the water, which is great for a healthy reef tank. So next up, these are the smaller one quarter inch nozzles. These are best suited if you would like to upgrade the stock du um, duck bills, which are currently on the, the Fluval Evo. And this will give you a little bit better performance over the duck bills um, if you have a stock pump installed. But if you do upgrade your pump, we do recommend getting the single half inch nozzle as this will restrict some of the flow and not give you the best performance but you see this also just pops right on it's quite tight and again this is running on the Eheim 1000 litre per hour pump so you can see the run the flow but if you adjust them to be parallel with the surface you get a lot better surface agitation. So in this case you could either point one at the surface and point one down towards the sand bed. There's also an option. So you can see the nice flow patterns here, stopping and starting. Which is what you want.